Hello, I'm Brittany, and today I was feeling very French inspired. I wanted to do a bold red lip. So today I'm going to share with you my take on the French girl red lip makeup look. Okay, so my skin is feeling nicely prepped. I just finished my skincare, so I don't feel the need for a primer. The only occasion I use a primer now is if my skin is feeling particularly dry, but I feel my skincare routine in the morning is sufficient enough that I can just apply my makeup directly on top of it. So I'm thinking of more of a silky matte look for the skin. So I'm going to go in with the Chantecai Future Skin Cushion Foundation. I have mine in the shade Nude. It's a really lovely foundation. And I like applying this one with the cushion. I find it offers just that really nice blurred effect. So you can see it offers that really soft, silky look. Not overly glowy, just becomes very skin-like. Very soft, very pretty. Next is under eye concealer. We're gonna go in with this one from Sicily in shade one. Taking the Sephora 57 brush and I just put some on my hand because I, I don't want very much. I like it to be very light. And just under the eye, I'm, this is my main problem area for the eyes, so I really make sure to get in there but with the lightest layer because I don't want the product to be detectable at all. There we go. She's awake. So since this look is mostly focusing on the lips, I do want to have a bit more of a sculpted cheeks. So I'm going to go in with the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. I have mine in the shade Dark. And by looking at me, you might think that dark is an odd choice for me, but I find going darker in these sorts of products is better just because otherwise if I go too close to my skin tone or, you know, a medium compared to dark, it would be too orange looking and not offer that sharp contour look that I want. So for this, I use the base brush from the Sonia G Lotus set. And I just brush it on like that, put it on my hand. And then just very lightly apply it no longer than where my eyebrow ends. Just using very soft strokes. Do the same on the other side. It looks a lot like this, I know, but we are going to apply other products on top and it'll blend out. Trust the process. So next I'm going in with my bronzer. This is the Tom Ford bronzer in the color Terra using the Sonia G Jumbo Bronzer. Just lightly. It picks up a surprising amount of product and just Gently go over a bit of the contoured area and a little further in on my cheek. Ah, this brush makes it feel like fairies are doing your makeup. Ah, I could just do this all day. I used to not believe that brushes made that much of a difference for makeup application, but boy was I wrong because since I invested in Sonia G brushes. Oof, my, I feel like my makeup application has just not only become easier, but it just is so much better. Just everything looks so much more blended. And with this brush, I don't feel the need to do this. I just like dabbing it in. Very gentle strokes with the Remaining contour, I just do a little bit on my nose. Just a touch. Nothing bananas. Okay, let's blend this in with the Chantecai Perfect Blurring Powder. Have mine in the shade Light Medium. Just a little bit on the T-zone. And we'll apply a bit more of this later when we want to blend all the complexion products together. Now we're going in with this guy. Ooh, I love this blush. I cannot get enough and it is perfect for this sort of look. 
<laughs> I uh, guess I should tell you what it is. It is the Surratt Artistic Blush in the color Griselle. It is a stunning blush. I cannot sing its praises enough. Oh, it's so pretty. Keep it together, keep it together. Okay. Oh my God, I love it. <sighs> It has such a silky feeling, almost like it's a cream blush, but it's not. It's so smooth and creamy and silky and blah. I just adore it. Okay, let's take care of my brows. So I'm going in with the Gucci pencil. I'm going to make them look crazy first by brushing the hairs backwards. But I find it just offers that much softer look. And then I add a little bit more of a tail. Nothing insane. Then we brush up. Oof, I'm getting a few creepers down here. I need to shave those babies soon. Next is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. Just grab a little bit on my spoolie here. I know you can't tell this, but I'm using it extremely lightly. Like the spoolie is just kissing my brow hair. Okay, now I'll do the same to the other side. Yeah, I really need to do something about these strays, my God. Okay, so I'm gonna do my lip before my eyes just because I want the lip to be the focus. So once I know that's in place, I can see how far I can go with my eyes. And this is just because I purely lack the skill to be able to see ahead and know exactly the amount of product I should put on my eyes to make it balanced. So I'm going to line my lips with the Chanel Lip Liner in the color 184 Rouge Intense. Okay, so the lips are lined. Now we are going to go in with the Violet FR Petal Bush in the color Amour Fou. So when you use this lipstick, take it out, and you don't want to use all the product that's on there, so just scrape it off the applicator. And now we are going to apply. Okay, so this is one sheer layer of the Violet FR Red. Do we want to go darker? I'm not sure. You know what? I think I'm going to follow her technique and do it darker along the edge for that, what she calls like a rose petal effect where it's a little darker on the edge. So let's, let's try that. So I have some fresh product here and okay I really like that red lip it's that very dark red really nice for the fall actually Ooh la la okay this really makes a statement I mean even this looks nice but we're gonna add more Okay, now that the lips are done, I can move on to the eyes. So now I know what I'm working with. So I'm going to use the Chanel Cream Eyeshadow in the color 802 Undertone. I've used quite a bit of this already. It's really nice. And I find I don't need an eyeshadow primer with this. I can just apply it on. So it works as a really nice base as well. So just grab a little bit. Like that. Mm. So this is the eyeshadow. It's very subtle, but very pretty. Okay, so that's going to be our base. Now I want to apply another Violet FR product. It's one of her U paints, so her liquid eyeshadows. Now this is the kind of product where you really need to learn how to work with it. You use the tiniest amount, like less than what you think you need to use. So I'm going to use, I think this is her latest release in this product. 
It is in the shade Petit Colat, which translates to like little panties. So it's meant to be like the perfect base. It's a very cute name. Okay, so I wiped. See how much I'm wiping off? From every angle. Because you need just a little bit. Okay, so. That's it, and then I'm going to a little bit of definition there on the just on the outer corner, just like that. Okay, so I just added it just in the corners here. So if I went in with all of this product, it would be a disaster. But since I got most of it off and just drew it on here. I feel it offers just that soft bit of color just to give a little something to the eye. Now we're gonna tight line with the Victoria Beckham Satin Control Liner in the color Coco. This liner is so soft, just makes tight lining so easy. I think I also want to use the other liner I have by her, the one in the burgundy shade, what's it called? The one in Bordeaux just on the corner, just a touch. And then just smudge it. So like that, very slight. Yeah, I like that. So let's do the same on this side. Oh, yes, that is what was missing. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that bit of burgundy with the red lip is I think it's pretty nice. All right. I want to add a little bit of something something to the cheeks here. So I'm going to go in with the Chanel Le Beige Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid. I have mine in the shade Sunkissed. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. Let's use the Sonia G Classic Base Brush. Let's just go like this and just wash it on oh yes there we go oh yeah let's put a little bit here mm. okay there we go love it okay so i'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara this is the sisley so volume adore this mascara See the difference? All right, and um, this side. Ugh, it destroys me that this mascara is so expensive because it is the best mascara I have ever tried. And let me tell you, I've tried a lot of mascaras in my time, and this one is by far the best. All right, I don't feel the need to go in with the Shantakai powder again. I thought I would have to blend more of this in, but I quite like how it looks like this. I'm going to add more blush. I know. I just can't help it. This usually happens. I get to the end and I realize I want more. So we're going to go in with the Surat and let's hope I don't overdo it. Oh my god, now we are talking. Mm, I just love it. I cannot get over this blush. It is so... I have an idea. Why don't we be a little extra today and apply the Golong Meteorite. So I have mine in medium. So I take my Song Yuji Buffer Pro Brush for this one and just get some product and let's buff this in. If you do not like fragrance, you will not enjoy these meteorites because even for my crappy nose, I can smell these. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, now let's finish off with some mist. I love this one by Cordelie, their Beauty Elixir, but I like this version. They changed the packaging and insisted that the formula was the same, but mm -mm. The new one, I swear it smells different. If you've used the new version and the old version, let me know what you think. Like, do you think the new version is different? Because I swear there is a difference. I am holding onto this. I mean, look at how much I have left. Hardly anything. I am prizing this. I 
will likely get the new one too, but oh, I prefer this one. So we'll just spray this on. <sighs> it's the perfect way to finish your makeup. Gives you that bit of glow. It has such a beautiful spa-like exquisite smell. I love it. And let's finish the look off with a fragrance. This is the Chanel Coco Noir. Mm. Now I feel complete. For some people it's having a cup of coffee, but for me, putting on my lipstick and fragrance and I feel ready for the day. I love it and I love this look. This is my take on that French girl sultry red lip look. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching my video if you made it to the end. I really appreciate it. I'd love to know what you think of this look. Drop a comment, let me know. Otherwise, take care and I will chat with you on my next video. Bye.